it's me Brandy with Be Vintage Design and Decor and today I have a, another Salvation Army bag to go through with you guys. I'm so excited because I already see some stuff in here that I just want to grab right away. And then I have a couple things I picked up at thrift store and auction. So I'll show you those real quick. I did have quite a few more things that I got from auction but some of them I listed and they already sold. So this is uh, kind of what I haven't listed or haven't sold yet. But I wanted to show you this too real quick. This was that torque that I got in my last video. Look at how gorgeous this cleaned up. It is 925 sterling. Look at how beautiful, oh my gosh. And then here's the back of it. And there's where it's marked right there. So beautiful, I cannot believe, look at that. I cannot believe how that came out absolutely love it so that is still um, up for sale okay then I stopped at my local thrift store today and didn't find any jewelry at this particular one but well other than this but I did find um, some other items so nothing in, significant enough to do a haul on but this has like a slight little bend to the pin just ever so slightly and then it's this cloisonne how pretty that is with a black background and these pink and blue floral design with the gold very pretty I got that for 99 cents and then I also got this at auction it's quite a, a nice size chain um, let's see I would probably say that the chain is at least Well, with the drop of the necklace, um, it's probably about 22 inches and then probably, you know, it probably is about 24 total, um, with the, the charm in there and such, but it's, it's a really pretty sterling silver, um, cage charm. It's a key with wings. And then the pearl that's inside is a multicolor. It's, uh, almost like a ombre rainbow effect there's yellow pink blue green purple so pretty and like I said it's a cage so it actually opens up and you can put a different stone in there or a different pearl or just take the pearl out whatever you'd like to do in it it's really really pretty and you know what I have a little let's do this just so you can get an idea of how it looks So cute. Love it. So I got that for $9.89 at auction. And then this ring I know is not going to last because it's gorgeous. I, I want to keep it for myself, but I'm not. <laughs> but look at this ring. Look at how pretty that is. It's 925 sterling. I got this ring for $12.55. I really, really wanted to win this ring. Look at the stone in that. It is just a CZ, but it's gorgeous. And then all around here, I believe those are all little stones as well. Um, let me look a little closer. Yes. Uh, she needs to be cleaned a little bit. I bet she'd shine even more if she's cleaned. Um, the right along here and then all along here are also stones. So that is so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm going to wear it for a little bit. Okay. So here is, and I also cut in a lot of stuff too. I got in a Goodwill lot. If I have time, it's just a little bit of copper jewelry. I'll show you that. I have a couple more bags from Salvation Army coming up. I'm just, I'm so excited about some of the stuff that I've been getting lately. Um, this bag was $49.99 and uh, it was from my local Salvation Army in that haul of bags that I got. Uh, like what, maybe two weeks ago now? And I did go back and I did try and buy up more. Um, they did not have a lot. I did get a jewelry 
or a jewelry, a uh, bracelet one. However, um, I, and I haven't opened it yet. I can see there's some good ones in there. Um, however, she is going to make me up a big bin, so I am excited about that. Okay, this one looks like it also has quite a bit of bracelets and whatnot in it. There was something that I saw, and I'm gonna dig for it for a second. Where did it go? It's gonna make me wait for it, I'm sure. Darn. I am not a patient person, in case you can't tell. Like I, it, it takes all that I have in me to seriously <laughs> wait to go through these. Um, ah, oh well, it's in there. If I see it, it pop up again, I'll grab it. Okay, well, let's get started. So right off the bat, I got a vintage watch. Advance is what the name is on the back. Um, it's got this stretch band, but there's no name on the front. It just says quartz um, down here on the bottom. But it's still a really good condition watch. Very nice. Sorry, I got a little cut there. I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, that's really pretty. See the ring? Love the ring. Here is a cute little um, bobble ring. It's a stretch band. That's fun. It's got some cute little things. This key has a little bit of wear on it, um, as does this little flower charm with the rhinestone. And a few of the little um, jump rings in there do. But other than that, it's in great condition. You really can't even see that. Really cute. Here's another ring, too. This one has a marking in it. This one says, it's just a bunch of letters. It says CW, looks like like a Thailand, like T-H-A-I. So just a costume ring. Could use a little cleanup. It's like a buckle looking ring with black and white. Cute. Um, that's, oh, I should have told you what size my other ring was too. Sorry. This is a six and a half, the buckle ring. And then the ring from auction is a six. So sorry to everybody who's not a six. Okay. We got a little hair comb, just some pearls, still in good condition. I'm going to pull these out because I had a Betsy Johnson one of these a while back. I don't know if anybody who's been watching my channel for a while remembers that. Uh, these are not, and this one's, this one's going to get sacrificed because it's all caught up in this. Or maybe not. These ones are, look, they look magnetic. Maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, they're magnetic. There we go, okay. But I don't know why I can't get this one. I'm not gonna fight with you. Somehow they come apart. But I would probably um, just lot these together, all three of them. And um, if, if nobody wants them, then I'll put them in the kids lot because they're really fun colors. But they have that mesh with the um, like loose looking rhinestones all in them. So also if you craft, it's a great thing too because this is loaded down with rhinestones. Take a sip of my coffee. I got my Starbucks today because I was out and about, I got some. This says Japan Quartz Movement. The back is pretty scratched up on this, almost like somebody tried to change their own watch battery a lot. But the front is in good shape and it's got this snowflake on it. And it is a clamp style. This is a really nice artisan. Um, I mean, this is even soldered on, not just glued. Um, this is definitely a turquoise here. And let's test this. Oh, sorry. 
sorry. Let me get my, where did my stone go? Uh-oh. I might have to test it later because I think my stone is buried under, oh no, here it is. It was buried under all those bags. Oh yeah. I think we got a, a winner here in the sterling silver category. Maybe. But look at how cute that is. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a, a person looking thing or if it's just a design. To me, it looks kind of like a person, but, and then there's the turquoise and then these like turquoise and amber colored stone. And then there's how it's soldered on the back. Very nice brooch. Um, it might, you know, that's a tough one because there's like little flecks in there like it is. But let's get a better scraping. Let's see if that works better because the other one was pretty softly scraped. Okay, there we go. Now it's lighting up. I, I probably didn't have a good enough scrape there. So this is Sterling. Very southwestern, very nice pen brooch. And it is sterling. Okay. This is just a hair barrette. I'm going to actually just, um, I don't know, I'll stick that in craft or something. This is a nice clamp bracelet. Very pretty colors. Good condition. Not marked. Not marked in there. Yep. Very nice. Um, the shell necklace here, I don't do anything with those other than craft. So um, if anybody would like that out of craft, actually, this one is really pretty. I might not put this one in craft. Hold on. This is more than just a little tourist thing. This is well made. Very nice. Multi strand. Um, definitely needs a little cleaning, but beautiful. So yeah, this actually will not go into craft. Um, it has all these little C bead style shell beads. Very nicely made. And then these, they almost look like they could be sterling. I'll test them. Sterling silver balls up here. So very nicely made multi-strand um, shell necklace. Got a little bit of shell wear off. This is just going to go into craft. It's um, just a costume piece that has seen better days. This watch is probably from Charm. Is no, it's a Geneva. Oh, I thought it was a Charming Charlie. It's a very nice Geneva. The the band is in really good shape, and it's got this really nice rhinestones all around the face of the watch, and then the band is um, camo, but it's like this flexible plastic. But it feels really good, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel like cheapy plastic. Like how that cheapy plastic feels like it's going to break. That feels good. Oh, look at this. I just got all sorts of artisan type brooches, didn't I? This is definitely copper up here, and it's patinaed. That is really interesting. And you know what? Let me pull that one out. I mean, you can tell they were probably probably donated by the same person. So I'll set those aside. I am going to be doing a brooch sale coming up very soon. I'm just getting it organized now, so um, it's just taking me a little bit of time. This is, this just says charm it, so it's some type of charm necklace, but this is just going to go into the kids, the kids lot. So I'll set that aside there. This is, um, this is going to go into craft. It's very cute, but it has seen better days. It's just a little, excuse me, a little flower pin. Um, this is a really pretty, oh, it's magnetic. Magnetic bracelet. I should say magnetic closure. It's not magnetic all over. And look at the closure. It's very pretty. It's got that little pearl 
And then there's pearls throughout. Are they your, yep, they're all over everywhere. Very pretty, that's nice. Um, this one, this is a nice stretch bracelet. Oh good, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna take the tassel off of it. So the tassel, maybe it wasn't even on there. It was probably just sticking on there. This is pretty, very pretty. I'm gonna set that aside and nobody wants it, then I'll give that one to my daughter. Oh, this is nice. This is not marked, but it is um, a really pretty cuff bracelet with these like purple enameled flowers. It's very well made. I'm surprised actually it's it's not it's not cheapy wire. It's very well made. I can't believe it's not marked actually with the quality of it. I'm looking to see if I'm missing some marking. No, but I mean even look at how the flowers are actually like riveted in there. So it's very very nice cuff bracelet. Alright, let's see. Oh, here's another one of those. Oh, yeah, I guess the tassel was supposed to go on it. So, let me, um, don't get mad at me if you like tassels. I just don't ever think that they are clean after being in here. So, it is going off. There we go. And now I feel like this can get cleaned easily and somebody can enjoy it. This is also not marked, but a very nice, um, it is very nice, but there is some wear right around in here. Not out where you can see it though. It's more on the inside. So if you like that, um, it's very not noticeable, the little bit of wear that's occurring on it. going on here? Are you broken? No, nope, you're just, uh, maybe it is. No, no, I don't know. I feel like there should be something on the end there, but maybe not. It is missing one bead right here, but that's not a big deal. And it is this long statement necklace. Not bad. This is pretty. This looks like, oh my goodness. This is, oh. The concept of this is really cool. Um, hold on, it actually doesn't feel too bad. Um, this is all suede. And then it goes like that. That's really long, really, really long. But it's not bad. It it could probably be cleaned up. So I will keep that one as well. And this is the one I'm trying to get to, this T right here. It's an initial T. And it is tangled up in this guy. There we go. Let's see if this is sterling. It is marked. Hmm, it's marked S, it looks like SM, SN, in a, in like a triangle. I don't know, I will have to test this one and see if it's, if it's sterling or not. No, it's really magnetic. So, whoops, I should have showed you, sorry. There's the T. Still pretty. This is a nice, it's almost, it's like a moonstone. See the glow? Moonstone bead. They're plastic though. Yeah, they're plastic. Very pretty though. Uh, we got our first single earring. Move that over there. 
This is a crafter's piece. This looks like it could be a sterling little clasp, um, toggle clasp. And then these like, you know, they look like they're millefiori beads, but they're not. They're just like faux ones. But it's still cute. I'll set that aside. Maybe my daughter will want that or somebody will want that. Oh, okay. I thought this was separate, but I guess these are all together. So this is a very long chain. And are these marked? No. Oh, this one is missing some type of stone. So if I can find the stone in there, I will replace it. Um, if not, then... Unfortunately, it may go into craft or it may not. I don't know. You could probably take this large cross off. So it's got these really nice little bobbles. I actually think it would be really still very pretty without the big cross. This is what it would look like without the big cross. Um, it would just have two crosses instead of three. Or you could just wear it like that. You really don't realize that that's missing something until you're looking right at it. So I will set that aside. Oh my gosh, this has got to be, do you hear that? I'm sorry, I already started the video over once because they did that. Yeah, this is sterling. Um, I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure about the price on this yet or if I'm gonna part with it because this, this looks like it's Victorian. And that ring that I got with the hands is also Victorian. So they probably went together um, that's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I probably will sell it, but I, it's going to be listed at the price of whatever, um, something like this from the Victorian era is going for. So pretty. And then there's the marking on the back. I love that. That's gorgeous. That's what I was trying to get at. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about the barking dogs. Oh, he's cool. And he is, I think he's sterling because he's marked on the back. Yep, he's 925, marked 95, BW by the artist. And that's a brooch. And then his marking is right up there on his head. It's really hard to see it with the light. But it's up there. So he probably went with those other ones. This is just a plasticky. I'm going to put that over with my other bangles over there. And this is just a, this is a kind of a cool bead. It's almost like a, like a watercolored bead. Uh, these beads have some verdigris. So you know what? I'm going to put this um, in the craft lot. Uh, this is another Geneva watch. It's got some wear over here on the sides. Some of the copper coming through. Um, it's got some really pretty rhinestones though. But honestly, I'm probably gonna put this one into craft because there's just, there's too much wear on it. That's too bad. Oh, this one is really pretty. What does that say? Oh my gosh, look at this. Xanadu. Um, definitely, definitely a vintage watch. Look at the marcasite on there. On around that face. And then these stones. That's gorgeous. So I will have to look that up. I'm going to set that over here in my lookout pile. Xanadu. This is broken. Oh, look at the pin. Good thing. This is broken. So this is just going to go into craft. That's a really pretty. Let's throw that stick pin away. Okay. Oh, here we have some rosaries. We got um, a broken one and one that's not broken. Um, that's just plastic, though. It's not like mother of pearl or anything. It is marked Italy, though, on the back. So I will put these in with my religious lot. 
and those are on a those are on a china a vintage actually an antique china bowl so they sound like i throw them but i don't i just set them there and they make that noise i always want to make sure i disclose that all right this is a really pretty um chandelier crystal and there is a marking on it but i can't tell what it says hmm. i cannot tell what it says but i'll set that aside those sometimes sell in the booth, so people are always looking for those. This is a cute little bracelet. No markings, like a little coin style. Possibly even, nah, it's pretty small. I think it's just a bracelet, it's not an anklet. It would make a nice anklet though. This uh, lot actually came from the same Salvation Army that that last awesome one came from awesome two bags these are very pretty this definitely looks vintage or at least vintage inspired but I'm thinking that it is vintage or it's just an artisan piece I don't know this is a tough one to call it's got some really pretty mother of pearl um, separators and then these nice yeah, these are I, these are plastic. You can see a seam line. So these aren't like carved from bone or anything or ivory or anything like that. So it's probably just a a vintage reproduction piece. Oops, getting caught on my getting caught on my ring. Oh, here's another one of those tassely ones. I won't make you guys watch me do the tassels, but I'll set that aside. Here's another one set that aside and this is a really tiny little cobalt blue bracelet this is pretty it's got these rosettes and these rhinestones it's got everything in there still the rhinestones that are in there um the stretch is not bad I think it's um a little too big for me but I think that it will definitely still work out well for someone. What is this? This might be sterling too, the way it's tarnished. I don't know. We might have to check this out and see. Look at that. I think that's just enameled in there. I don't know though. Mm. Leather. Let's just test it and see. Let me do this part too. Well, that scratched pretty well. Give that a minute to see what it does. But it's this leather strap and these silver tone charms. And then it has this very interesting like hook clasp. And the charm part, it's just, I don't know. It's not glowing blue, so maybe it's like stainless steel or something. It's not disappearing either. It's still pretty cool looking. I think it'll shine up nicely. It was worth a shot, right? Oh, we got a lot going on here. A few pieces. A few more pieces I need to test. <laughs> Um, this one might be marked. It's hard to tell because it is tarnished. Hmm. I'm not sure. If this is silver, I'll put it on the screen. But it's got like this, almost like this tile right there. It's a nice artisan piece. And then this is not marked. Oh. It's got all of its stones. That's really pretty. And it's a clasp bracelet. Those look purpley, but they're not. They're clear. This needs a little cleanup. And this is one of those kind of um, conjoined infinity kind of style bangle. Set that there so 
I didn't go test it. Oh, look at this fun ring. He's, oh, he's missing an eye. And he goes on at multiple points on your finger. He is um, elastic, so he's stretch. And then he's got like a rhinestone face with an eye. And there's his missing eye. But, and the eye is like a black rhinestone. And he's missing one little stone on the top of his head. Do you see that? But he's still pretty cool. Let's see what can what it can stretch to. All right. Oops, I did that wrong. So comfortably, he can. The bottom will stretch to a nine, and the top of it stretches to over a seven without it getting like too overextended. That's pretty cool. I know a few people that are gonna like that. Um, this is just gonna go, unfortunately, into craft because it's pretty stretched out. This is a nice copper bracelet. I don't see any markings on it. It's a really nice copper cuff. It does need to be cleaned up, so I'll make sure I can get that clean before I can tell somebody that I'll sell it to them. But that doesn't look like any kind of patina. It almost just looks like gunk in there. So, very pretty bronze, um, copper, silver. Very nice. Give me one second. I just have to reply to that text. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, back to the bag. Oh, this is marked. This is marked. This is marked. Oops, upside down. It is Mexico 925, but then it's got a name on there. Um, but the name, well, it says, it says made in Mexico, like H-O in Mexico. But then the... A S A N S. So I'll have to look that up. There's the mark. You see the mark in there? Um, I would have never guessed from the outside of that 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 was actually sterling silver. So I will also clean that one up. It's a little, it's a slight, do you see the slight bend right there? But um, it's in good condition other than that. And that can be easily bent back into shape. So nice getting some good silver out of these lots i want to put that up there as well too sorry for my hand being in the way another one of these but this one actually has a little leaf on it got a nice little pile of those going on earring here's another little this actually is a weird little ring um it is adjustable but it, i don't know it's actually a ring okay i thought it was a like for a like a key ring thing. See how it looks like a key ring? But, and it's got these really pretty green bobbles on it. And this one is, it's adjustable, but it's a seven and a half right now. So very nice, cute. Oh, here's another one of those. So this goes with the other one. I'll just sell them all together. And if there's any more, I'll sell them all together. This one has like blue colored rosettes and the rhinestones. Is this good? No, this does not go together. Does it? No. Okay. So this is its own thing. It's a little choker from Claire's. It's a pink choker. It's cute. I'm going to put that in the kids' lot as well, too. I don't understand the point of this. This, um, they are making it try and look like a coronation coin. I think it's just a a belt, but it's a very lightweight belt. Um, but it's cute. It's got that like dangling coin on the side. Um, here's the other earring to this one, this little handmade earring set. It needs to be reshapen a little bit here on the hook, but other than that, it's good. And they got these like hook closure backs. Here is a Christmas, vintage Christmas brooch. 
not marked anywhere. Oh, yes, it is. It's a Jerry's. My finger was in the way. Sorry. It was a Jerry's. And is it, is it work operational? Yes. It's a little bent. A little bent right there. See the bend? And a little bent right here. But it's still really cute and it's still functional. So I will set that aside with my other brooches. Because if it doesn't go, then it'll go in the brooch sale. Oh man. Oh my gosh. My my kids are home today. Well, they're who are we kidding? They're almost home every day right now because of everything going on in the world. But um there's no school today still. So every kid in the neighborhood keeps coming over and ringing our doorbell and walking past our house. And so it's driving the it's driving my dogs crazy in addition to the construction. <laughs> So I apologize. Oh my gosh. This is really pretty. This is a really nice um, seed bead and like amber colored, brown colored multi strand. Let me pause it. Okay. Took care of that situation. Oh, here's the other earring. Okay. So I got a little set of Christmas earrings. Those are cute. They got the little bow and holly. And the jingle bells. This is just a one of those like stretch bracelets that's like uh, slinky looking. <laughs> um, this is a little pewter looking frog, and yeah, he's probably gonna go into craft though. I don't know. I'll set him aside. Here's another crystal earring by itself oh look at this this is pretty this is a little bug um pin it's a bumblebee with rhinestones and it's one of these kind of scatter pins or even a little lapel pin that's pretty this is an artisan earring almost looks like a Oh, baby, another one of those. It almost looks like that goes with those other style earrings. Here is a vintage type of, um, it's got this pretty tassel bracelet, or it might even be, no, it's a bracelet. It's nice. Here is another vintage looking bracelet. Um, not sure what that design is. They're not clovers. They're just some type of clover looking or floral looking design. And then it just has this little clasp here. I don't see any markings anywhere on it. Oh, this is cute. Oops. This is gonna probably go in the kids lot because it's so tiny, but look at the little frogs. Oh my gosh, do you see their faces on the beads? How cute is that? But it's super tiny and it has this little screw closure so that it stays on their wrist. And then this is just gonna go into craft, I believe. Um, well, you know what, I can probably, it's in good shape. So if I have a, a spare pendant to put it on, I will. All right, this is just a fashion necklace. This is pretty. Goes like that. It hangs like so. And it's got all its stones. And in like a smoky and pinky champagne color and clear. So it looked like like that pretty much. That's nice. Now I don't know what my time is because I had to stop my stuff so often. Oh, I like this. That's pretty. I don't know what stone this is here, but I do know that this is Unikite. Magnetic closure. That is really pretty. Um, it's definitely made for somebody with a little bit of a bigger wrist or somebody that likes their jewelry to like dangle. 
I am not one of those. I like, as you can tell, I like things tight around my wrist. Um, but that's really pretty. Gorgeous colors. And those are definitely all real stones. Right? Yeah, this one definitely is. This one's definitely very cold. These I'm not 100% sure, but they look like it. It might be glass. Um, this at one time did something. I don't know what. Maybe it sang. It has like a it has like a battery in there, but I don't see how it would light up or anything. But it's got a substantial weight to it. Hmm. So I don't know, maybe it said I'm I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Not sure. Very cute though. It, it was a brooch. Oh, did I show you the back? No, I don't think I did. So there's a back. See how it, it looks like it has a little voice box, music box in there? Oh, this is pretty. Any of you cat lovers out there, it says Guardian Angel of Cats. And uh, obviously I am a guardian angel of a lot of dogs. <laughs> no, I only have three, but some days it seems like there's more. This is a cute, oh, he's like a handmade Santa. Look at that. He's got some glitter on there and he's, he's made of like clay or something. Handmade Santa brooch. That's precious. All right. Ooh, this is a nice watch. Has a nice feel to it. Let's see what it says. It's got a really pretty face. Oh, Sergio Valentini. Sergio Valenti. However you like to say it. Um, stainless steel band. I'm making sure that this is operational. Yep. Very pretty. I'm trying to get the glare away from it. There we go. Very nice. I will have to look that up because I don't know what those would even go for. Here's a few other watches. Let's just pull those out. A lot of watches in this one. Okay. Well, so far I haven't found any phenomenal 18 karat gold or anything, but it's still a good bag. This is a a, ben, a Benris, Benris watch. Diamond quartz. Good shape. Leather band. This one is just says quartz watch. Stainless steel back. Leather band. And then this is a Carol Lee earring. Hope I have the other one. This watch has a pretty heart face. It's a Caceres. And it's got this nice heart band. Very pretty. Oh, one more. Right? Did it? This is another Sergio. Very pretty stainless steel band. That's nice. I will look those up for sure. Okay, here we have a very nice, um, uh, the word is escaping me what this is, hematite, right? Hematite necklace, very pretty, very nice quality, very nice weight necklace. Very nice. Um, there's another stick pin. Hold on, let me throw that out so I don't stick myself. There's a few in here. They're trying to, they're trying to stab me. All right. Oh, look at this stick pin. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a little, I am definitely gonna keep this one for resale because it's too cute. It's like a little, and it's in good condition too. Little. Carnation, yellow carnation, and it's on a stick pin. I'll put that with my other stick pin. This is a gorgeous earring that's missing a stone. It's a Christmas tree, so I'll set it aside. Uh, this is an unmarked vintage brooch. Um, let's 
see what's going oh is it broke this one's broken that's too bad that was really pretty and this is broken as well so this is going into craft as well I'm gonna set those aside this is another Jerry's pin looks like it says Jerry's let me double check yeah is it Jerry or Giovanni no it's Jerry's the leaf pin I've had these before Here's a little dove pin. This is just going into craft. However, let me, because this, this is, um, this, this roping is not, ugh, it's getting all over here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. But look at the pendant that was on it. How pretty is that? That would be nice on another chain. So I am rescuing the pendant for somebody. Here we have a, this is just gonna go into craft. It's a little charm bracelet. The charms are not marked. And it's just a little crafter's piece. This is also gonna go into craft. That looks like some type of lava stone. I don't know, well, I don't know. One of my daughter's friends might like this. They, you know, we can clean it up for them if they like it. Um, this is another really pretty piece. Screw back closure. And it's got, uh, there's a chip on one of these, just so you know. Let me show you. You see the chip on that one? Right at the tip. Still a very pretty necklace though. Getting down to the end. So this may be the only bag that I do today. Um, and I will, you know, I may still show you the copper stuff. So, cause there's only a few pieces of that and everybody seems to really be loving the copper lately. This is a broken, okay. So this is a broken ball chain attached to this. I'll have to undo it, but this is really pretty gold. It's got, it's got some bonus hairs. Hold on, there we go. But look at how gorgeous. This might even be gold filled. And you see that? Those are really pretty like stone stone beads. Very nice. I will get that untangled. Oh, I love this earring. I'm gonna test this too because I'm thinking this might be a peridot. It is, yeah, it's in the jadeite spinel. I'm thinking that's a peridot. Look at that with the pearl. That's really pretty. Oh, I'm gonna set that up there. I don't see another one though. I'm gonna be so upset if there's not another one. And oh my gosh, here's a bunch more pins. Hold on. They're trying to get me. I do not want one of those ending up under my nail. Here's a little fashion ring. That's pretty. With this um, cabochon blue robin's egg color stone. Six and a half. Six and a half not adjustable there's the back of it very pretty it's not marked or anything all right we got a few more items here another another pin so here's a few bracelets um this one is marked is that sarah coventry i believe it is yes it's a sarah coventry silver um, oops, there's, there's the design. Very pretty. And then this one has a toggle. This one might be sterling, so I might need to be testing this. It's not marked. It's got a nice weight to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. Another. 
another pin and another pin. Yikes. Um, this one also is marked. Is that Napier? Yes, Napier. So a vintage Napier. Very pretty. That kind of basket weave. Here is a dove pin. This is a really nice cross. It is marked Avon on the chain. The chain definitely needs a cleaning. Um, the cross, this, yes, that also says Avon, right? Does it? Yes. I mean, it's, it's a weird looking Avon. It's not their traditional, but maybe it's because it's old and it's a vintage, you know, style. I don't know. I'm going to set this here so I can clean it. It's very grimy. This is very pretty. Um, this needs, it's, it's got some tarnish, so I'm going to clean this up as well. Is it marked? It is marked, so it might be sterling. Um, what does it say? It says 925 Italy. Yes, 925 Italy. So, a sterling ball necklace. I'll shine that up for you. A few more things. Um, this is a cute, it's, it's, it's got, it's on its kind of last leg of stretch, but it's got some cute little Christmas charms but I'm probably going to stick this guy into craft because of its um, stretch. Anything out of craft, um, I only charge a dollar for. I do sell craft lots. However, right now I don't have any because they're already spoken for. So I will have some though soon. They're always accumulating. All right, last couple items. Mm, these are all single earrings in here, guys. And that's a shame because this one is a sterling silver. What is that marked? It's marked 925. Um, it's... Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And there's not another one? This is a Tiffany. It says T&Co 925. And... So does the back. Dang. Well, I do still have one more bag. So it's a Tiffany earring. <laughs> so it'll go there. I know there's some sites that actually sell um, the other earrings. So maybe I can find another one out there somewhere. And then this is definitely a vintage style um, chain. But then it's got these, these bobbles on it, which are not that vintage. So somebody might have made this piece. It's so cute. And then this is just a gold tone chain, but it's seen somewhere, so it's going into craft. And then I have this brooch, which is not marked, and it's this like lion head. And um, another sterling silver MT is what it says, MT. The back on it also looks like a nicer back. Yes, it's a 14 karat gold back. So I usually will scrap those 14 karat gold back. And then two, no, three. Here's a, another dove pin, another barrette, a stretch bracelet that actually still has some really good stretch. Um, I don't know what this is. This is too big to be anything really. So this is just gonna go into craft, but it's got some great little 
um, great, great stones on it. And then these are some clip earrings that definitely need a cleaning, but they're very pretty. So, oh, and one last thing. This is just going into craft. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, that was, that was a dirty bag. So I um, definitely have some really nice um, single earrings here that I'm, I'm hoping I have the duplicates for. Here's my other bag. So keep your fingers crossed. This is the last one of that lot that I bought. So keep your fingers crossed that it's in there somewhere. All right. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested, oh, I forgot to say that. If you're interested in anything in this video, you can email me at my email address, which has been on the screen the whole time, bvintage74 at gmail.com. Thanks again. Have a good one.